everyone, welcome back to another episode of Plan for Table. In today's video, I am updating you on the Aero Garden Farm XL behind me right here. I have two of the farm units. One is used to grow lettuce and herbs, and the other one is used to grow tomato and peppers. I had an unboxing video about this unit, and you can check on the link in the description box. Besides giving you all an update on my Aero Garden, I want to emphasize this video on how to measure the pH level and the nutrient level in your hydroponic system. It does not matter if you have an Aero Garden, I harvest, or a garden, or even a self-built system, you still have to um, change the water or add water, balance the nutrient level or the pH level in your system. In today's video, I will show you how I do it. Now, without further ado, let's get to it. I have two farm systems, and this one is for lettuce and herbs. What you're seeing here is a mix of different types of lettuces. I don't know if you see the uh, two chive leaves sticking out in the back, but that's the chive right there. And next to it is the dill and Genovese basil. I have to say that I do not recommend growing chive because they are very very slow to grow and not very productive. I mean let's get real, what do I use the two leaves of chives for? The bottom rack is another farm unit, I use it to grow tomatoes and several types of peppers. You can see there are two separate reservoirs in each of the farm system. Um, because of that, I'm marking one with Maxi Grow, and the other one I'm marking with uh, Aero Garden. It means that I'm using two different types of nutrient, Maxi Grow and Aero Garden nutrient, just to compare how well they do. Let's go back to the top rack and harvest these lettuce and herbs. You see the lettuce leaves um, curl outward a little bit. The reason is that I was on vacation for three days. The lettuce grew really fast and it hit the light when I was not at home. That's why you see um, some tip burning and curling outward. This is gonna be the first harvest. When I harvest uh, lettuces, I like to cut the outer layer and then work inward. For each of the lettuce head, I leave about 3 to 4 small leaves so that um, it can pick up right away after I harvest and then it will flourish. I'm gonna do the same for the other side. This is what I got from my first harvest. Not too bad, huh? Alright, moving on, let's talk about the pH measurement. I'm using a pH uh, meter to measure the pH level in the water. The number will tell you how acidic or alkaline your nutrient water is. Usually for uh, plants in general, the reading from 5.5 to 6.5 is um, ideal for the plants to thrive. Anything below or above that are not good. A lot of people complain that the pH meter reading is not accurate because sometimes you will see um, the number jump up and down and it goes crazy. So just to confirm the number is correct, I'm going to use a true and old method of the um, pH test indicator. Please do not feel intimidated because um, how it looks like I'm performing a lab experiment. But the truth is it's very simple. All you have to do is fill up half of the test tube I have right here with the nutrient water. Next, I'm going to use 3 drops of the pH test indicator into the vial right here. You see the color is starting to change already. 
Just close the cap and then gently swirl it or just tap it like so. Now we're going to compare the color in our vial to the color chart on the test indicator bottle. Um, each of the color on the bottle corresponds to a uh, number. It is the pH reading. You can see um, the one all the way to the left is red. It's like below 5. And then the orange color is 5. So we know that the pH level in our water is around the 5 point. Remember, we want our water to be hopping around the 6 or 6.5. So I'm going to adjust the um, pH level up a little bit. I'm going to use a syringe like this to uh, be easy to measure the solution. For a 2 gallon reservoir like this, and to adjust the pH level about 1 point up, I'm going to use 4 milliliter. Because I've done this a few times already, so I kind of know how much to put in. Um, in your case, I recommend that you put about 1 milliliter per gallon at a time and then see how the pH level change. I would also write down the number so that next time you can use that as a reference. I came back and then uh, remeasure the water to see if the pH level is at the level that I like. Now you can see the uh, solution is no longer orange, but it turned into a yellowish and has some green tinted into it. It means that your pH level is around 6 to 6.5 which is perfect. I'm going to use the pH meter to see what it says and it reads 6.7 which is pretty close to what we found. For the nutrient, you just need to um, get a TDS meter and uh, measure the ppm. The fruity plants need uh, ppm around 2000 and lettuce around 800 to 1200. In my next video, I'm going to talk about root and plant trimming. So stay tuned. That's all guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope this video is, is helpful for you. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next episode.